it's roughly 5.30 p.m. and we get the sun coming from this area up here. Since we have a shooting down here, the light coming through, hitting the door, I'm going go inside in a second. Like this area here, kinda. And I wanna use the shape of the door. Of course, I'm losing light. Um, use the shape of the door to kind of create this frame. So I wanna see how it hits with just the natural sunlight and get an idea of that. What I will say is that I don't actually have a uh, shot in mind. <laughs> I am thinking that maybe I'll come from uh, this left side here, since that'll be where the motivation is from. They're really locked in there, huh? So for camera, I have the uh, Fujifilm X-T5. I don't know how to say this. I think it's Nisi. I don't want to mess that up. Um, but I have the Nisi filter system, Black Mist. I don't know if I'll actually need it, but is that my doggo at the door? Oh no, he's right there. Really simple setup, I think, for this one. I think the biggest thing is that the base ISO is at 1,000 for F-Log 2. I think that's where it kind of gets dicey. I feel like the light's already soft. <laughs> I'll be kind of sitting here like this um, and just letting the sun be that motivation. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I got the Atmos Ninja V here. This is what I'm gonna be using as the recorder. I hope that chain hasn't been making noise the whole time. <laughs> and then we'll be shooting into here. Like I mentioned, have that as the framing, using the sun as it comes out. We will indeed need the uh, extra four stops. Um, yeah, the zebras are going crazy. I'm trying to see what the framing is like here. Pretty, pretty strong lighting. Oof. When it's diffused with the clouds, it looks really nice and soft. I think I'd probably want a little more motivation from this way, but this is nice. I think I could always use this light. I'm gonna shoot this, because I think, and this is basically the limit. I mean, I have diffusion. It's a little too shaded, I think. I don't know about that. Let's just shoot it without. I'm gonna set this, oh, this is gonna be so annoying, but I'm gonna set it to auto, all right? Because I kind of like it like this. And this will kind of be that straight on shot. I'm gonna record this one. like this light. I think the part that gets tough is just figuring out how else I want to frame it. Maybe get a tighter shot. Tighter shot. The only thing I fear in this case, as long as we're not like peeking too bad, I think we'll make that work though. Alright, let's, let's try this out. Yeah, the framing is off a little bit, but I'm more interested in trying to get the light right. I got a good base. I mean, just playing with what the sun's providing. And it was more so I didn't pay enough attention to where I was in the shot. I actually do kind of want it closer. All right, let's try this one. This is kind of what we have um, in the start here. So just using that the natural light, just seeing what it creates as far as the shape. This is more of the close-up. Okay, so I have uh, my traveler's uh, notebook. I feel like I kind of need something happening, so I got out my notebook, and I'll probably just do some jotting in here, trying to find some shots of like the actual notebook and some close-up, something to give it a little bit more life, you know? This close-up here is kind of just more for the face. Kind of seeing what I can do there. I'll come back just a little bit. Uh, too much. Oh wow, was not recording that part. This is kind of like this. So we'll get this scene with the light. Right. 
that was more of the close up. All right, I'm gonna change this up. So I kind of want to get that wide shot now. It's kind of like straight on here. I need to be a bit more over this way. So let's get a little bit of rotation. I need like some sort of fill here. So what I can use, I brought this from my studio. Got the little bounce here. To kind of help fill in that shadow just a little bit that was coming from that side. I don't know if you all can see the bounce in the video, but bring it a little closer actually. I actually might even go, no, I think that's too, too harsh. I don't know how much the fill actually helped. The shot, like I, I like the way the shot looks. I'm not mad at the shot at all. I mean, I'm a little sweaty. This shot, I have to get myself writing. You know, with the camera and the shot. Ah! I think it's just a little too intimidating to be that slanted, you know? Ooh, that shot has potential. Um, so like, I think here, kind of bring these back down, cause I think this just plays well with the shape, right? Like, I don't think I'll do all three scenes like this. I'd probably just do, um, just the one wide. Yeah, let's try that out. I'm gonna add back in a bit of fill. I'll do the reflective side so you can really get an idea of what you're seeing happen. So yeah, see all that light kind of in here. I think the silver side is just too strong for what I want. I want it to be more subtle. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Losing the light now, the sun is uh, starting to um, dip below so we're not getting when we're dealing with natural light we gotta play by the sun's rules when it starts to set a little too far so we're around 640 uh, 641 so you have roughly an hour of time in this area where the light was kind of where it could be like in a good place yeah all right cool